Hey, I'm Alex, and today I'm going to be giving you 15 reasons why ball pythons make great pets. So ball pythons are a super common animal in the pet trade, and I think for good reason, because they make such great pets, uh, whether you're a beginner or more experienced with reptiles or any pets in general. So the first reason I think that they are great animals to get is they're actually cheap to buy. You can get ball pythons as cheap as like $20. I think Sunny was like 60 because he's a yellow belly ball python, which is a different type of morph, but they're cheap animals just in general. Their setups are also really cheap. Uh, right behind, this is Sunny's tank right here. It's a 20 gallon. It's like 20 to $60 depending on where you get it from. And I actually have a video on setting up their enclosure and the whole thing is pretty cheap. You can also use a rack system uh, if you're going to breed them or something, but I like giving them tanks so that they have more space. They're also just easy animals, uh, whether it's caring for, it's easy to keep their tank set up, it's easy, pretty easy to keep them healthy, uh, so yeah, just all around an easy animal. They don't get too big, so Sunny isn't full size yet, but you can see he's a size that's pretty easy to handle. You never need to worry about uh, like it really being too big for you to handle by yourself, they're definitely easy for that. At the same time, they're not too small, they're still fun to hold, uh, it's nice to just kind of hang out with them, handle them. And because they're not very big animals, they also don't take up very much space. Uh, you can easily just fit this tank kind of anywhere in your room or in your house. Uh, if you even move, it's not very hard to move around. It's a, just a small setup with a small animal, so you don't need to worry about having a ton of space for them like you do with some reptiles. And when you're picking up one of your ball pythons, it's probably going to be pretty difficult because there are so many morphs. So you can see he looks a bit normal. Uh, but he's actually a yellow belly ball python and it makes his colors just a bit bolder and his belly a little yellow tinted. But there's like hundreds, possibly a couple thousand different morphs. But there's just tons of colors, tons of designs and patterns, patternless, all sorts of things that make your animal really cool. So there's definitely a lot to choose from in ball pythons. Uh, you could probably tell, ball pythons are really calm and slow. There's some snakes, even like corn snakes, lots of people recommend corn snakes as the first animal. I don't really because they're a lot faster. Ball pythons are just super slow and calm animals. You really don't have to worry about them. Um, you're like, you won't have to worry about them like if you uh, accidentally let go of it. It's not gonna just take off and you're not gonna be able to find it. They're super calm, super slow. And relating to that, that makes them really easy to handle like I had said before. They're just fun to handle, they're easy to control. You don't have to worry about them like getting away from you or being too heavy or too big. Uh, this is with all snakes, but I'm going to add this in. You only have to feed them about once a week. Uh, you might want to do it like every five days, depending on how big the food is. Sometimes every like nine days if it's bigger food. But you don't have to worry about like feeding them every day because you don't have to do it that often. Because you only feed them about once a week, it means they're only going to poop about once a week. So it's not very much cleanup because just like one day you feed it, and then a couple days later you clean off the poop, and then you feed it. It's a really simple cycle. Uh, this is also with most snakes. He doesn't make noise, so it's not going to be some noisy animal. You're not going to hear a barking or just really irritate you in any way, like if you're sleeping. Even frogs, they can be really loud. So snakes, you don't have to worry about any noise. Uh, same with smell. As long as you clean their poop out like the same day that they do it, uh, you're really not going to smell anything. The a actual animal doesn't smell like anything. It just, uh, unlike some other animals, they just get along with you. Me and Sunny have gotten pretty used to each other. Uh, so he like he used to be more nervous around me But as you can see he doesn't even mind me touching his head at this point because he's just gotten used to me He used to really freak out when I would um like I might scare him by accident But now he's just super calm around me He's really used to people now and he adapted pretty quickly and because you don't have to feed or clean that often uh, They can actually go a couple days without care So your only concern might be water if you like fill the water bowl up really well then you can go away for a couple of days as long as you have a timer set up with a heat lamp just to make sure that they have the adequate uh, lighting and heat at the right times but you don't have to worry about anyone like coming to your house and feeding them every day or cleaning their poop out every day like you would with a cat or dog um, and even some other reptiles and amphibians and finally this is just a personal one for me but I think they are the most adorable snakes just their little faces they have this big uh, like round eyes and I don't know what it is about them, just when you see their face, I just can't see how you can't see that as cute. So that's the 15 reasons I think that ball pythons are awesome pets to get, whether you're a beginner or more advanced, and they're just always great animals throughout their lives. You can't go wrong with them. I can't really think of any negative things about them, but if you have more questions about them, you can ask me or email me at instanthnews at gmail.com. 
uh, or just write a comment. I will reply to the comments. Yeah, that's all for this video. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching.